Good evening, everybody. Our opening pitch is softball. Atumwa was hosting Hoover. Atumwa tied the game at one. Give the RBI to Kaylee Schreiner. But Hoover sucked it up. Sidney Larson sends one to the fence to put the visitors up two to one. The Bulldogs, Matty Wiley is Wiley with the bunt. That would score Alexi Nelson. Atumwa gets the sweep seven to three and six to two. In baseball, it's Fairfield against Iowa City, Regina. Fairfield started faster than a new car battery. Jordan Reed gets a two-run double to left field for the Trojans. Later in the inning, Reed would score on the air by the shortstop. The Trojans, Austin Simpson, had quite a night. He drove in five runs. Fairfield wins it 12-4. to four. In other baseball action, Atumwa split their games with Hoover, losing 2-1. to one. They took the nightcap 17-6. Pekin stopped Twin Cedars 1-0. Centerville and Albia split their games. Centerville won game 1-5-2. One, Albia won the second 16-6. And it was Sheridan 7, Knoxville 2. In softball, Sigourney lost to Linville Sully 3-1. And it was New London 4, Mount Pleasant 2. The Cardinal baseball team is young, but there is still plenty of talent. After a few games, the challenge is to stay focused on every play. We talk about it all the time. You know, we constantly talk about the things that they can control and the character that they have to have to be successful. And we, we, we coach them up on that as much as we coach them up on skills. And when we can do that, then we can measure and hold them accountable to those, to those character traits. Former Kirksville softball standout Jackie Bishop now has a national championship ring. The Oklahoma graduate assistant is celebrating tonight as the Sooners beat Auburn 2-1 to one to win the softball World Series. It's day three of the Truman State basketball camp. It's the first time in six years that the Bulldogs have had a camp, and they have done it up right, including a great coach to camper ratio. That's the main thing, and we got enough coaches where they can, they can get that one-on-one -on -one instruction and learn. Um, it's a big, big years for them when they're at this age is learning the fundamentals of the game, so we got coaches that can do that. The camp concludes tomorrow. The Big Ten led the nation in college basketball attendance for the 40th year in a row. Iowa averaged 13,800 fans a game. That was the sixth best in the league. The volleyball camp at Kirksville is now in its third day. Coach Justin Quigley thinks that the camp should be fun. One of the ways he does that is to have the campers work on the same skills with the different drills so that way no two days of camp are the same. That's exactly right. When they don't have to think about it anymore and they can just play, they can cover more court, they can do the skill better because they're not having to think about it, and it, it'll uh, show improvement in every area of the game then. Teresa's up next with final weather. Stay with us. Side Stricker Farm Alone is a proud sponsor.